Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and wanted to cover with you guys the steps that you're going to need to do to get the new exotic 4th Horseman. Now, it launched today, this is March 17th, so happy St. Patrick's Day as well to all of you out there. And, as some of you may know, there's a whole lot of things going on in the world related to uh, stuff people staying shut in, and currently I am uh, going to be doing this a little bit more. So, definitely if you haven't subscribed to the channel before, I will be streaming on Twitter, on YouTube, posting videos pretty much all the time, because that's all I'm going to be doing. My job is currently kind of on hiatus at the moment. So, look for more content. So, if you haven't subscribed before, now is that time. Also, follow me on Twitch. I will be streaming a ton, I think. But, Fourth Horseman, what we have is a quest called In Rides a Pale Horse. And what we've got to do, first thing is we're going to go talk to Zavala. And here we're going to find that he wants us to go into his vault, uh, in his office. Apparently he has an office in the tower. I think it's a brand new place, looks pretty cool. So let me show you guys how to get down there first. Alright, Guardians, so at this point in the quest, when you're trying to find Zavala's office, it's not the easiest thing to find, and I pretty much wandered all around the tower. So the best way to get there... Follow me and I'll show you. What you're going to want to do is head over this direction. You're going to want to jump down. Basically, if you go right here, you've got a pretty, pretty clean jump across and down here. Now, from here, you can do it one of two ways. You can go right down here to the staircase and turn around. And you're going to be pretty close at this point. It just took me a little while because the angle looks very strange to find this one. Now, once you are down here, this is Zavala's office. There's some cool stuff in here. It's got the vanguard on the wall. You can actually see the speaker's mask kind of put back together. You've got a sword and an old shield, uh, different hammers, burning maul, lots of cool stuff in here. So definitely explore this thing when you get a chance. But we're trying to get into the vault, which is down here. <clears throat> now, when you come down, there may be nobody down there, maybe 20 people down here, but the vault looks like obviously you got to get in there. Now, I looked around in this room, tried a lot of things. It's not as bad as you think. Just crouch and come under here under the stairs, and we're going to go out and around to get to it. So we'll fall down, make sure you jump, we'll go around, up the stairs, through here, we're definitely in the uh, back work of this area, there's nothing over there, so make sure you turn left, we're going to jump up, I don't think you want to turn there, I think you want to actually go straight to the end, should fall, yep, on the staircase, up here, and then we're jumping up again, so yeah, we are correct. And I think we're pretty close. Hey, we got it. Inspect empty weapon crate. Missing in action. Oh no, the weapon has been stolen. Return to Zavala and inform him the weapon is missing from the vault. Drama will ensue. So now that we've made it through the little crazy puzzle and we're in the vault and we picked up the initial part of the quest, we realize the gun is actually not in his vault as he thought it was. So when you go back to him, he's going to tell you to go over to Anna Bray, and he's going to send you to Mars to go talk to her. So when you talk to Anna, Hi. she's going to say that we need to collect intel to figure out what is going on with this weapon. Um, we need to either defeat Cabal or complete public events on Mars. Now, there are two ways to do this. You can complete, Cab you can defeat Cabal. I tried it in a lost sector. It's fairly slow. Your best way to honestly do it is if you can find an actual public event on Mars, that's going to be pretty effective. Or, just start Escalation Protocol. Now, it is a quest related to a whole lot of Cabal, so why a Hive thing works, I'm not sure. But it definitely does. So if you go do some Escalation Protocol, like many people will be, each segment seems to count for about 10%. You're going to be killing enemies throughout it the entire time, and they're not going to be Cabal, but you're going to be at least working your way through that percentage fairly quickly. If you just did Lost Sectors or Cabal stuff over and over, it's kind of slow, actually, but the public events on Mars, I think the normal Cabal public event, I think I got about 20%, but Escalation Protocol, each wave or each round of it, I got 10%. So if you do maybe a, round, a full, like, seven plus a few more waves of Escalation Protocol, you'll be done. So that's my recommendation, honestly, for the public events on Mars. If you find a normal one that's not, Knock that one out first. It's going to give you a pretty good chunk. And then after that, Escalation Protocol. Now, if you're struggling with Escalation Protocol, there's not a lot of people on Mars. You can go defeat Cabal in other places, uh, but definitely keep a Hawkeye on Mars itself on the minimap. If a public event is, like, queuing up, make sure you are ready for it. Otherwise, definitely go try and get Escalation Protocol going. It's usually not too bad, especially at our level. Swords are really good against those low-level guys, and if you get a good group in there, it goes fairly quickly. So... Escalation protocol cannot be overstated on this one. 
So once you have the intel collected, however you end up killing the Cabal or the Mars Public Events, however you check that box, we're going to go back and talk to Anna. So once you talk to Anna, she's going to say that Kalos actually seems to have double agents in the Red Legion. Uh, so what we're going to need to do is go defeat Scions and loot Cabal. Now, previously, I could loot Cabal chests. I should loot Cabal. Yeah, that's right. Loot Cabal chests. That's the big difference. Now, the chests are not that common. If you have a Hellas Basin combo detector, it's actually a really effective thing to drive around with or even look down a sniper scope and try and find a chest in your scope. And, then, and what you can actually do is see a chest that is much farther away than where you typically are standing, because normally it's about, you know, 50 foot radius. But you can see a chest that is very far away if you have a combo detector, any type of chest detector ghost shell on, and you look down something like a sniper scope, your range that that ghost is effective works pretty much down your sights the whole way. It's kind of crazy how it works, but it definitely does. Your other option is to defeat Scions. Now, if you need to defeat Scions, this is where I'm going to tell you to go to the Ma'adim subterrain. It's the Lost Sector in the lower part of Mars, the southern section. Down there, there's... 14 16 scions down there pretty much you got to run that thing about three times and if you do a quick run through for a couple chests in between those runs you'll be done in no time i think i did two lost sector runs i tripped over a couple chests outside the chests are about 20 percent, so if you do find a chest those are going to be really effective but also my first run through the lost sector gave me about 32 percent so really this one's not bad, but that actually Southern Lost Sector is a great place for a lot of Scions to be collected together. Do a full run through, you're going to find anywhere 14, 15, 16, something like that I think the number is. Do it three times, you're pretty much done. Trip over a chest out in the world of Mars, you're also good to go. So those are your two ways to knock that part out. After that, let's see what's next. So now that you've gathered intel from Callus, you need to go talk to Benedict. And he's going to be in the tower in the annex. So when we fly in, we're going to see what he has to say. So Benedict actually needs you to eliminate the encryption signals that are coming from the European dead zone. You can do it three ways. Defeat combatants. Pretty much seems like any enemy. That's fairly slow. You can complete public events or patrols. Now, public events are going to probably be your fastest. And my recommendation is if you are starting this thing as a way to kind of start off your week to go do the Seraph Tower about four times because that's going to give you a lot of enemies to kill. You need to do the Seraph Tower four times anyway. Make sure you pick up some daily bounties as well so you've got enough tokens to open the Seraph Tower chest. Uh, and you can kind of multitask while you're doing that. Open the chest your four times for your weekly bounty from the bunker. Um, you've also got patrols that you can do. So if you're in the Seraph Tower area and there's patrols that you can do that are either enemy kills or pick up things you're probably going to be able to knock those off pretty quickly as well and you'll be defeating combatants the whole time so it's kind of a triple threat in that seraph tower um, public event area that is my advice completely now if you don't have if you just randomly go into an instance by the seraph tower and not much is going on and you see a public event somewhere else public events are still going to work um, but I was just trying to accomplish the ones that I needed for the bunker weekly bounty, which is that one was done pretty quickly. And if you aren't completely done with this one by the time you're done with your four Seraph Towers, then any public event will do. Any combatants, any easy patrols are going to help you along. Um, I don't quite remember the full percentages on those. I think public events were close to 20%. Uh, enemies that you were killing were pretty low. It was over a course of like a thousand points that you needed to fill this bar. Public events were a chunk, patrols were a chunk. Um, so, somewhere in the realm, I think 20% from a public event, roughly, 10% from a bounty, uh, or from a patrol, because I know I did one of those to finish it up, and I was at like 4% to go, and that thing definitely tipped it over the top, so it's either 5 or 10% for those, and then just any enemies you kill along the way, all of them are going to count, doesn't have to be Cabal, just any enemies you're fighting, does seem like there's a lot of Cabal around the Seraph Tower this week, so if you do need to hunt those down, they're also seemingly there. So after you eliminate all that stuff, you come back to Benedict, he needs one more thing. We need to run a very specific legendary lost sector. Now, I am recording this on the 17th, after the weekly reset, obviously, because the quest is out. Now, when this quest went live originally, we were kind of actually at a stopping point because the legendary lost sector through the Seraph Bunker on EDZ was not the quarry. Now, currently, it is. Bungie actually switched it, I think, server-side, and the Legendary Lost Sector is the quarry. It is also going to be tomorrow, the 18th. When it comes to the 19th of March, is, as in what day is that going to be? Thursday? When that daily reset happens on Thursday at, what is it, 10 a.m. Pacific with the time change now? When that happens, it's going to go back into its daily rotation. So it won't be on when it won't be on Thursday, it won't be on Friday, it will come back on Saturday. So if you get it today or tomorrow, the quarry will be there. Otherwise, the next day it's going to be there is going to be on Saturday. So 
if you're listening to this, those are your dates that you need to keep in mind. Either the 17th, the 18th, or the 21st. And then again, you guys can count from there three days from each. So hopefully that time frame helps you guys out. If you're picking it up in a couple days and you get through most of the steps, trust me, there's a fair amount of grinding involved. So if you do need to kill a bunch of, you know, the enemy types or do the public events or you're doing other stuff and you're starting this on Thursday or Friday, no big deal. Get close to it and then, you know, have a couple friends ready on Saturday. Hopefully a week and you got some time and knock out that legendary lost sector. Now, I've got gameplay as you guys are going through about the Lost Sector. You've got two types of champions in the quarry. You've got Unstoppable, which are going to be um, definitely going to need to make sure you take a hand cannon in there for those. And then you've got Barrier Colossus. So it's Unstoppable, Incendiors, and then Barrier Colossus. Both are pretty painful. And remember, the Legendary Lost Sectors are 1,000 power levels. So you're either going to want to make sure you're leveled up pretty high if you're trying to do this thing by yourself or make sure you bring a group with you so you can get some reses. Um, the heavy Warframe and both the Valkyries are extremely beneficial in here. I can't overstate how beneficial those things are as you start leveling up the bunker. It's like the discounts are good first, the extra war mine bits are good, but the fourth thing that I would be working on is those heavy Warframes if you're slowly unlocking those. But I've got a video over the best way to unlock the bunker as well. If you guys have any questions, that one is still sitting out there. When you finish the Lost Sector, you are literally given the gun. Um, it actually came from the Lost Sector chest, not the, the Seraph chest. So that one came straight away. And then I also noticed between doing my first run and my second run, my second run, and I honestly think I'm just lucky, I got the Catalyst for it. Now, I was with a couple other people. They did not get on their second or third run. I got the Catalyst on my second run, so somebody would just called it streamer luck, but you honestly never know. Um, but seriously, it's just going to come from Legendary Lost Sectors is my understanding. So any of them potentially will be dropping the Catalyst for it. And it actually seems pretty good because it's going to double the reload speed and give you a fifth bullet in the chamber or in the clip. So it's actually going to be pretty worthwhile when you get to that one. So that is basically everything about um, Fourth Horseman that you need to know. Talk to Zavala, go find his thing in the vault. Then we're going to go kill Cabal and... Then we're going to go do kill Scions, and then we're going to go do public events and stuff in the European Dead Zone. And then by the time you're done, Legendary Lost Sector, and you got the gun. So, uh, it has got some lengthy grinds to it. The percentages are pretty big, but if you kind of work on the efficient things, um, Escalation Protocol is a good one. If you find a couple chests, and then that Legendary, the lo normal Lost Sector for the Scions is pretty quick. And then the Seraph Tower public event is a nice way to multitask while you're working on kind of your weekly bounties and doing your repeatable bounties as well, using different weapons while you go through that. It's going to help you accomplish a lot of things at the same time. It's a cool weapon. It unloads really fast. It's four in the chamber, or four in the clip, which may as well be four in the chamber because you fire them all almost instantaneously. It's full auto. It's crazy fast. You dump out four shotgun shots that just go crazy quickly and powerful. Then you get a reload, which is pretty slow until we get the catalyst up. But all in all, hopefully you guys found this one beneficial, and uh, thank you guys for listening. Again, uh, if you guys will find me a lot on Twitch over the next few weeks or a couple weeks, however long this thing lasts, uh, my name is Ebontis, so if you find it on Twitch, on Twitter, right here on YouTube. If you did enjoy the video, drop a like below. Leave a comment if you got questions, but thank you guys very much. Um, follow, subscribe, like, all those good things, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Have a good one. Bye.